financial aid offer can get you additional aid in the form of free money. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Today I wanna to talk to you about financial aid appeals. 80% of the families I help with the appeal process receive additional aid in the form of free scholarship money that has ranged anywhere from $3,000 to $30,000. Anyone can appeal their financial aid offer. However, if you have any special circumstances, such as your 2021 income being less than 2020, or significant medical or dental expenses, or you're helping support an elderly parent, or you have a recent divorce or separation, or you have anything financially that has really impacted your family this last year, then it's crucial you notify the financial aid offices about these special circumstances through a financial aid appeal. Remember, when you filled out the FAFSA, you used 2020 income. So if there's been a change within this last year, the financial aid offices have no way of knowing unless you notify them. However, if special circumstances don't apply to you, but you get your financial aid offer and the college is still out of reach financially for your family, you can still file a financial aid appeal. I see families get awarded additional scholarship money all the time because they wrote an effective, humble financial aid appeal letter. Now, one exception to this is some colleges will only entertain financial aid appeals if your family has special circumstances, and they will clearly outline that on their financial aid website of the college. So just be sure to check the college's website about this before filing an appeal with them. It's important that you appeal your financial aid within two to three weeks of receiving your financial aid offers. There's a specific way to write this letter. I usually break it down into four different sections and there's some crucial information that you should include. If you're out there Googling and trying to research how to appeal your financial aid offers, you might come across information that says you can only appeal if you have special circumstances, but I can assure you this is not the case. I see it all the time where I help families write a financial aid appeal letter that have no special circumstances and they get awarded additional aid. You have nothing to lose by writing a letter and it's absolutely worth it. If you need help with this process, I offer two programs that can assist you in drafting your financial aid appeal letter. One is a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me where I will take you through writing the letter and actually help you draft it while we're on a Zoom call. And the other is through a digital course I offer on my website, thefafsaguru.com, underneath programs, and it's called How to Effectively Appeal Your Financial Aid Offers. In this 45-minute digital course, I'll take you paragraph by paragraph through what you should be writing in a financial aid appeal letter, and then you can send that letter directly to me for review and feedback prior to submitting it to the financial aid offices. We're at that time of year where those financial aid offers are going to be rolling out soon. So get those appeal letters written now so you are ready to go when you receive those financial aid offers. Is additional free scholarship money worth it to you? Remember, 80% of the families I help through this process will receive some additional aid in the form of free money. So file your financial aid appeal. And if I can be of assistance, be sure to reach out to me. Thanks so much for watching.